I was in Athens, Greece, on a yacht when they called. Come on. And they're like, ah, uh, Blackish? I said, Blackish, what's that, baby? You know, they told me, new show and all. I said, well, Blackish better have some greenish. Hi, I'm Janae Bolden, Senior Content Director of Pop Culture for i1 Digital. What's going on? I'm Danny Canada, Deputy Editor at Bossip.com. And we're here for the Bossip Uncensored pre-show, where we take you through what's coming up next on the next episode of Uncensored. This Sunday's episode of Uncensored features none other than Jennifer Lewis. She's like the grand dame of Hollywood. One of my favorite <laughs> actresses, absolutely. Right now, she's killing it on Blackish. And uh, yes. opposite, obviously, Lawrence Fishburne. And she's such a staple in Hollywood. She's literally played like everybody's mom, like literally, literally. everybody's. She's played Lorenz Tate's mm -hmm. mom. She's played Tupac's mom. She's played Gabrielle Union's mom. She's played Taraji P. Henson's mom. She was even a mom in The Princess and the Frog. She was Mama Odie in <laughs> Princess and the Frog. She's like that sassy mom that like everyone kind of wishes was their mom, but it's at the same time, she's the mom that everyone is afraid of too. Like the mom, you don't want to <laughs> make this mom mad because she's definitely going to tell you to go get the switch. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, can, Jennifer Lewis is the Mount Rushmore of moms in Hollywood. And one thing I like about this episode is she embraces that. She talks about being everyone's mom and how she leans into it and she loves it. So Dr. Jennifer Lewis is all about being that quintessential <laughs> matriarch of someone's family. And it's really exciting to see. Yeah, I love that you um, brought up the part of her being a doctor because that was such a big deal doctor. to her. Jennifer actually <laughs> grew up poor in St. Louis, the youngest of seven kids. I mean, yes, it's really an incredible come up that she had. I don't think her mother could have ever imagined that she would become literally yes. that woman, you know? And she's been such a pivotal uh, persona, you know, every part that she's played, she really has been memorable. She's left her mark. Absolutely. And um, even yes. just as a mom, I think it's funny because she talks about taking that preacher's wife role where she played Whitney Houston's mom and actually yes. stepping into Whitney's real life and to the point that Sissy even acknowledged her. And right. the time that she spent with Bobby Christina, there's some really personal details in this episode. And I think the audience is really gonna eat it all up. It's, it's some incredible memories that she has. And while a lot of them are very happy, some of them are very sad. I mean, yeah. there's so much tragedy that she's um, experienced, but she's overcome so much of it. Listen, this episode is full of gems. You're going to learn all about her story from Broadway to Blackish. And it is just a lot of fun because Jennifer Lewis has this amazing energy that you cannot find anywhere else. And it's just a beautiful story from start to finish about how she literally came from rags to riches. And it talks about her friends that she made along the way. Janae, what did you think about seeing her talk about Loretta Devine, Cheryl Lee Ralph, and how they came up together? I thought that was really fun. I mean, it was amazing because she said that they've all known each other since they were like 19. Her, Loretta right. Devine, her and Cheryl Lee Ralph. Ralph. And they're so they're all still killing the game. So it's great to hear those they stories. Are. And even how like sometimes they were up for some of the same roles, like in the case, you know, of Jennifer Holiday, how she really was pulled in for Dream Girls and so important in shaping what that character was in Dream Girls, how she toured. Um, I mean, I think making it on Broadway is not an easy thing at all, especially to move from you know, Missouri to New York City, and then to actually really get in there and be brushing shoulders with all these heavyweights. You know, she's right. been an incredible working actress and she can sing as well. Like, I think um, that's one thing that people don't know as much, you know, and to hear like how she came up in the church and how much that ha piece of it has played throughout her life. And I think that was something that her and Whitney related well also, like I think yes. having that part of being a uh, very dual, that duality of being an actress, but yet being a singer, being very yep. dramatic, but also being grounded and having the people in her life be so important to her. So she really valued those relationships. And you can you can hear it in her voice when she talks about, yeah. 
you know, Loretta Devine and how dear she is to her or Cheryl Lee Ralph or Jennifer Holliday or any of those people. But she also has such right. a great sense of humor. You see why everyone would want to be so friends funny. with her because she's incredibly comedic. She um, has yes. been through quite a bit, but she still, you know, holds her head up high. She has grace. She really speaks to how she, um, you know, just survived and everything she got through mm -hmm. and also dishes out that advice, you know, it plays back into the whole mom thing as well. Where like, we all kind of want that guidance and she's done that for so many right. people in the business. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I just think this whole thing is about her being equally talented and equally hilarious. Jennifer has just this big, beautiful spirit. She told us about this nickname she had in school. I'm not going to give it away, but oh, it is hilarious. I know exactly she talks what you're about talking her about. Love life. You know what I'm talking about? She yes. talks about her beautiful body. Like it's just, it is no, so funny perfectly and it's gorgeous full of gems. body. Darling. Gorgeous body, darling. Like, I love it. I love it. I love her energy. I wish I could hang out with her. Like, that's one of those people you want to get to know personally. Call me, Because Jennifer. you know it's going to be a good time. Definitely. Call us. We want to hang out. We want to have drinks. We want to kiki with you. We want to have drinks. We do. We definitely want to kiki with we you. We do. And we know that you, you might have some stories you didn't tell uncensored everything. We want to know. Give us the real tea. You know. I can keep a secret. Kind of. So, you know, let me know. Yeah, let me, me too. Know, Jennifer. Let's have a look at a clip from Sunday's upcoming episode of Uncensored featuring Jennifer Lewis on TV One at 10 p.m. 9 Central. I want people to know that a lot of celebrities have lives that you think well, are perfect. Hello, everybody. They are not. Had I not had a passion, a great passion, I wouldn't be here because it was that passion of entertaining that would get me up. Nothing was going to stop me from being a star. I wanted to be a star so I could get all that attention from my mother. I wanted my mother to be proud of me. So I was unstoppable. I have lived the American dream from poverty to great success. And I know I'm one of the lucky ones because I got to do what I loved to do. That's huge, baby. That's huge. Thanks so much for joining us for this episode of Bossip Uncensored Pre-Show. Check out more episodes on bossip.com and tv1.tv.